It's often called the best ever episode of the Powerpuff Girls. The BBC even said so. And being full of puns and references related to Britain's favorite pop group, it's not hard to see why. And no, I'm not talking about Scooch, you moron. You know, that band named after a bug that sounds like beat alls. You know what else is buggy? The DVD release of this popular episode. And you know what else rhymes with beat alls? Recall. Welcome to Video Recall, a new series about movies that were banned and buried on DVD and VHS. Sex scandals, legal battles, and creative feuds are just a few of the reasons why you'll probably never see these rare versions of famous films. So sit back, buckle up, and adjust your cup holders, because we're about to take a spin through the darkest and most remote back alleys of home video history. Powerpuff Girls, Meet the Beatles, also known as Meet PC's Security Vulnerabilities circa 2001. Professor! Can you help us with the internet? Ah, sorry girls! I guess I just don't understand computers! <laughs> Sure, the Powerpuff Girls smashed through decades of cartoon development to reach across unimaginable traditional boundaries of artistic styles, gender preferences, and international audiences with unrivaled quirky humor, edge, and energy. But it wasn't until Powerpuff Girls Meet the Beatles on DVD that the franchise really made history by taking its contagious nature to a whole nother level. See, Meet the Beatles was the first and may remain the only DVD ever to be recalled for literally spreading a virus. <laughs> A computer virus, to be more specific. To fully appreciate how this is even possible, it will benefit us to take a trip through memory lane, or memory crack alley, depending how displeasurable you remember the millennium era. I'm sorry, it's important, it's history. If you remember, back in 2001, see, websites weren't just mindless tools of convenience to be flung around on cell phones and tablets, but were treated with a profound weight and respect. After all, the world had just barely survived the Y2K apocalypse brought on by malevolent computers hell-bent on ignoring the progression of time itself. A man-made calamity so pervasive, it threatens not only the United States, but the entire world. The year 2000 computer problem is, without question, the most complex, most expensive problem mankind has ever faced. There are some Y2K analysts out there that are saying we need to be preparing for the doomsday scenario, and they may be right. My biggest concern is the, is the potential there is for panic, because people that are panicked will generally make the wrong decisions. Can your family survive if you're on your own? You know, back in 2001, mere links, let alone actual websites, were collected and traded like physical possessions. Back when IRL was so common it didn't even need its own acronym, URLs were considered worthy of their own merchandise. That's AOL 9.0 optimized you got there, people. You've been getting lots of discs, I know. And somehow people believe being directed to advertisements and stores through the marvels of the interwebs was a blessing bestowed upon them through the generosity of their fellow man. At the very least, people seem to believe that links constituted special features on a DVD. Hey, I'm not cheap, I'll even include completely free a link to Amazon where you can buy the story excuse for a DVD and net me a sweet kickback. Yours completely free. And that's not all. Film today and you get two free you know, real bonafide internet links, folks. You just click them and they're absolute magic and I want to make it yours today. <clears throat> but sadly, back in the dark ages of the world would we... Interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. You couldn't just access the internet through your trusty old cathode ray tube, so top-of-the-line digital video discs had to be partitioned with segments encoded as DVD-ROMs for use on PC computers, just so you could get access to all those juicy links. Feeling old yet? No! Yep, shut up, you little brats. I'm not asking you. So anyways, you can probably see where this is going. Somehow, whatever Tom, Rick, or Harry Dick was authoring this thing somehow dirtied up their workstation with a little virus called Fun Love. Don't ask. And no, this story isn't just an elaborate euphemism for explaining STDs. It's history, goddammit. It's real fucking history. As a result of the fun love fiasco, power puffers, power puffians, power power pufferites, power puff puffer people? <clears throat> Fuck it. As a result of the fun love fiasco, consumers who thought they had put a plastic disc inside their computer to visit shopcartoonnetwork.com or just wanted a damn Powerpuff Girls movie screensaver for Windows Me. Ugh, remember Windows ME? Anyways, they suddenly found themselves victims of fun love. 
Effects included poor animation, failed saves through system restore, a conversion of practical information into contrived trendy buzzwords, and recurring blue screens of death. Oh, no, wait, that's just a description of Windows ME, isn't it? Yeah, f Those with the Fun Love virus experienced lethargy and swollen genitalia. No, wait, that's the wrong description again. Yeah, it was just slowdown. Like, slightly slower slowdown than normal operating Windows ME slowdown, I guess. Upon learning of this embarrassing indiscretion and the subsequent reactions of disgust, of course, Warner immediately pulled out. Pulled the DVD out of stores, I mean. God, you guys. Rope. <laughs> Warner reissued a virus-free edition, but unfortunately there's no real way to know if you have the recalled one without wasting a day trying to revive your dusty old PC and downloading Windows ME just so you can try and kill it again with fun love. So I guess it's no surprise that the recalled version of the Beatles has basically no collectible value whatsoever. But in the famous wise words of Britain's favorite pop group, ba da ba ba ya ba da ba ba. I'm Joseph, and you've been watching Video Recall on Buzzcuts, a channel dedicated to unpopular culture and no-budget independent filmmaking. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Video Recall. Thanks so much for watching. It's like a friend just pops in to say hi. And my bed list is huge. I have like 80. Welcome. You've got mail. You've got mail. You've got, you've got, you've got goodbye.